Okay, uh, I heard Raw was good, so I caught a replay of it online. Uh, and, well, basically, I'm gonna review it. So let's go. Okay, Booker T, King Booker, and Jerry the King Lawler had their little promo. Uh, the only thing good coming out of this is I, I'm i curious to see uh, how Lawler's gonna be in the ring. Last time I saw him in the ring, he wasn't too bad. It was a match against Chris Masters, but, you know, Masters isn't that great of a wrestler. Uh, he's not that bad, but not that great. So it's kind of hard to judge there. Uh, with Booker, maybe. Uh, um, I don't know. I want to see how good he's going to be. And someone, if you know, please tell me. Is Triple H coming back uh, at SummerSlam just to make an appearance? Or is he going to have a match? Because I would like to see Booker versus uh, Triple H at SummerSlam. Okay, uh, women's tag match. Nothing really to say. It's a typical women's match. Uh, uh, nothing to really talk about other than uh, Santino. Like that they're keeping him out of the title picture for now. Um, I kind of think that's, uh, I kind of like the guy manager with women's wrestler, but I wish he could have pick, uh, picked a better wrestler, a women's wrestler. Um, okay, Randy Orton versus Cody Rhodes, uh, it was good for a squash match. I mean, it was definitely a squash match, but I, I guess it's a, it was alright. Uh, it Nothing that made me want to change the channel or anything or make me want to stop watching it or skip the match. Okay, Kennedy versus Hardy, best match of the night. That was freaking awesome. Kennedy versus Hardy. A few good spots in that match. Hardy had a freaking scary botch. I was just like, is he alright? Like, after I saw that, I was like, oh my god. And that was a, like a really scary botch, dude. But then he gets up and he goes for it again. It's a perfect. Uh, great win. I like the count out thing. Uh, we heard a little about that prankster character that he could maybe become, and that might be, you know, starting doing that. That'd be all right. I'd like to see that. Um, I guess it'd be a kind of cool idea. World Greatest Tag Team versus London and Kendrick. I said that the last match was the best match of the night, mainly because this match, World's Greatest Tag Team, London and Kendrick, it was a really good match. Uh, Kendrick took a really good bump to the uh, outside. That was really cool. Only reason I say that uh, it's not the best match of the night because it was way too short. Way too short. I like that Haas got the win. He usually doesn't get the wins. Usually it's Shelton Benjamin. Um, yeah, it was a good match. It was just a little bit too short. Champions only match. Oh, yeah. That's nothing special, but uh, if you call... Jerry, not Jerry, JR called a whisper in the wind a twist of fate at the Great American Bash. He called a gun stinger or catatonic, whatever you like to call it. He called it a sidewalk slam. Which sidewalk slam is when they're at your side and you have them like this and you go down with them. It's nothing like that. Okay. The match wasn't that great. Uh, I like the interference by Jeff Hardy, just swinging rapidly at him, just you know, just wailing on him with the chair. I like that kind of thing. Uh, that was good. Just basically chased him out of the whole, like chased him out of the arena with just chair shot after chair shot. That was really cool. Umaga, I like that Umaga will take a chair shot. He never, he never puts his hands up or anything. He takes it. I, I like that. Um. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's great and everything. And then. Uh, uh, you know, then it's Cade and Merlock left. Uh, Cena gets the win, and then I was—I knew something was up after he, after he was gonna win. I knew that something was gonna happen. Um, and this is where you see like Cena wins, and he's all like, "Yeah, he got the win and everything." And then I hear Jr.'s like, "Oh my God! Oh my God! Who was that?" I'm like, what is he doing? What is he doing? And like, then I know something's up. I know something's up. So, uh, yeah. Well, big surprise, Randy Orton. Probably uh, seems going to drop the belt at SummerSlam. I hope he just doesn't win it right back like he did the Edge. I really hope it doesn't happen. Uh, for all that anyone cares, it was a really good Raw. Uh, see how much time I got left. I might do an ECW review. Hell yeah, dude. I'm doing an ECW review. Okay. ECW review.
I don't need those notes anymore. I don't have notes on ECW, but I remember it good enough. It was a good show. Alright, I'm not going to comment on every match because I can't think of every match. I'll just uh, comment on the ones that I liked. Okay, uh, Steven Richards versus Kevin Thorne. The match was pretty good. I liked it. Uh, great that Stevie got the win. Stevie's a really great talent. They could really push him, and, you know, it's great that he got the win. Um, uh, oh, the... Uh, 15 minutes of fame thing. I think it's a good concept. Uh, it potential to push somebody later. I hope they just don't push someone that's already high up in the main event scene. I hope that they get like a new guy and put him over using the 15 minutes of fame. Uh, yeah, it was. I, I think it's a pretty good concept. Uh, I wish like instead of Stevie Richards winning that match, I wish they would have had Stevie Richards last like 13 minutes and then Nitro gets in. Like, that would have been better, I think, uh, if they're trying to put up, put over Stevie Richards. Um, I don't know, uh, let's see. What else was there that night, that night? Alright, I'm just commenting on what, if, what I can think about right now. Alright, the Miz thing, I cannot believe they wasted airtime on that. It's just ridiculous and retarded. Why would you waste airtime on that? Is it going anywhere? No. Is it getting you to a match at SummerSlam? No. Why are you doing it? Okay, um... What else is there I can think of? Oh, Nunzio job to... Uh... And Nunzio job to, um... Miz. Uh, and Nunzio drops to everyone that sucks. But I think he belongs back on SmackDown. Um... Okay, the main event, I didn't see some of this main event. Uh, uh, what I did see of it, it was pretty good. Tommy Dreamer isn't the best technical wrestler, but he did awesome in that match. And I give some credit to him. He did awesome in that match. Uh, Nitro did awesome. Uh, Punk did good. Yeah, uh, Elijah Burke did really good. Uh, it was one of Elijah Burke's best uh, performances uh, so far. Um... Yeah, um, I believe Punk hit a GTS. He got the win. Uh, I didn't see all the match. Uh, uh, DCW was okay. I just thought I'd comment on it because I did the Raw review so fast. Just blew right through it. Um, yeah. Well, that's basically it. I hope they can follow up that Raw with the Raw as good. And I hope that uh, next week's Raw doesn't start out with the John Cena coming in. It's like... You want some? Come get some! I hope it's not that again because I freaking hate that. Uh, I hope it's not that because they do it every time. I hope that maybe for once Randy Orton, the challenger, can come out and call John Cena out and not the other way around. Yeah, well, anyway. That's all I gotta say about that and peace!